Hello, Detroit. What a pleasure to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, we, in the exciting field of dental supply sales, are here in the Motor City for a reason. To provide quality precision tools to professionals who demand the very best. Thank you. Whoa, thank you very much. Please be seated. Oh. <laughs> I was just going over my speech. You've been going over it for two weeks, honey. You know your speech. I know your speech. The kids know it. It's a big one, Susan. It's a speech for every sales rep in the Northeast United States. It is a big one. You've done very well for yourself, Andy Fiddler. Mm. Now get dressed. Your flight leaves at 7. You know, Detroit's quite a sports town, honey. Maybe I'll bring you back a piston. Do me a favor. Just bring yourself back. Detroit ain't Wisconsin. AR-15s, 30 M4s, 6,000 rounds of 5.56 ammunition, and three dozen M16s, all of it stolen from the vault in this building. But that's not why I rolled you out of bed at 5 a.m., Agent Van. You want to tell me how your partner winds up a speed bump on the 94 freeway? I'll tell you how. Your partner was the inside man on the job. Once they had the guns, he became a loose end. I'm going to tell you something else something I've learned in 20 years with internal affairs. If a cop's dirty, nine times out of ten, his partner's dirty, too. Wouldn't surprise me if you were the one who popped him. You got a bug up your ass about me. Well, let's get it out. Right now, right here, you and me. No, huh? So step off. Stop wasting my time. You don't seem too upset about your partner. You want to charge me with not being upset? Go right ahead. Be my guest. Hell, I write a full confession about how I don't give a shit. If he was dirty, he got what he deserved. I'm not finished with you. Well, I'm finished with you. And let me tell you what I learned in all my years on the job. Don't trust anyone. That includes partners and especially internal affairs skid marks. I'll be seeing you, Van. Try to keep IA off your back. Booty. Hmm. I'll get into this. I'm already into this. You know those weapons will be out of the city within 24 hours. Yeah, well, you can't set up a buy in 24 hours. Watch me. Van, nothing stupid. Yes, Lieutenant. Bye-bye. Enjoy your stay. 
Bye, I hope you had a nice flight. I had a wonderful flight, and I'm wondering if you can do me a favor. I was uh, talking to one of the stewardesses back there, and we were discussing tongue scrapers. I found one in my bag. I'm wondering if you can pass this along. I'm in dental supply sales. Yes, I will. Sir, you might have to step aside. Just tell her it's daily tongue scraping and antibacterial conditioning, which will assure her the freshest breath. This is a nickel-plated Lady Smith 9 Mary Mary chrome inlay. Mm -hmm. Go feel that. It's got a nice weight to it. Yeah, so do you, baby. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Oh, hold up. Oh, get out the way. every time. Oh, it's man. these repetitive ass whippings that cause guys like me to burn out on the job. <laughs> Somebody wiped out our vault last night. Who was it? Well, how the hell should I know? I'm gonna check the front of my car. If it smells like ass, I'm gonna beat you like a runaway slave. No, no, all right, all right, all right. All right, what? Look, maybe I heard something. Tell me what you heard. Something about a lot of merchandise in play, that's all. <laughs> you know how I can tell you're lying? I can smell the bullshit coming out of your mouth. No, all right. Maybe I know one of the guys, huh? Well, hook me up. Tell him you found a buyer. Oh, man, he already got a buyer. You too late. Tell him I'll double his price. I can get 20 grand cash right now. 20 grand? But I'll only get you a taste, dog. Taste is all I need. Hook me up. Now. Thirty-eight fifty. Oh, that was a very nice drive in, Mr. Uh, is it Bedwetter? Bedwetty of... Uh, I see you're from Turkey, uh, Mr. Budweater. I've got uh, 20, 40. There you go. Keep the change. <laughs> I was in Turkey recently. Uh... Santos, what's cracking, dog? Yo, I need 20 grand. Yeah, don't we all? I need that in non-sequential unmarked bills, and I'm in a hurry. Not your personal ATM, man. Come on, Santos. You know you're gonna give it up. So cut the bullshit. I don't have that kind of cash down here right now. I uh, see you lying. Now I personally logged a million in cash into that vault right over there just last month on a case we both know hadn't gone to trial yet. So you still hold it. What happened between us, Santos? Where the love, dog? You realize it's my ass if you come up short again. It's just flash money. I'll have it back this afternoon. Come on now, go and get that. I had the paperwork done by the time you get back. All right, but I need that money back here by 4 o'clock. You can trust me, man. Come on now, I'm in a hurry. Chop, chop. Work that combination, baby. Look, man, they'll give you a taste, then they'll tell you where to bring the money. They don't want the goods and the cash in the same spot. Booty. I do this for a living. Look, I don't know these guys, man. They're from out of town. What do you know, Booty? This is the place, man. But he'll give you a gun and a phone now and call you later for the money. Take the corner seat at the counter and be carrying a USA Today. A USA Today, the newspaper. Look, man, I did what you asked me to do. I'm done with this. You better hurry up, man. By this time tomorrow, the guns will be gone.
You want a taste? Pardon me? There's your taste. That's my taste? Wait for our call. It's not my gun. Some guy gave it to me. What guy? Some guy. He gave me a bag and he said, taste it, taste it. He said what? Something about a taste. Tell me what he said. Exactly. Word for word what he said. He said, that's your taste. But there was nothing to taste. Just a phone and a gun. Look, I just went oh, in for a call. Shit. They think you're me. They think I'm black? No, they don't think you're... ATF, you're coming with me. I, I have done nothing wrong. Well, Simon, it's coming. All right, I got him. Fiddler, Andy, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He's not federal, he's not local, no law enforcement. No sheet? He's clean. Yeah, he's too clean. Screw him. Oh, no, wait a minute. Istanbul, Turkey. Customs. Trafficking. Turkey? Yeah. He do any time? Interpol shows an outstanding warrant. He got away from the Turks? <laughs> no shit. This guy's got to be smarter than he looks, huh? Well, he can't be any dumber than he looks. So what's this guy look like? Well, he, uh... He had very good teeth. What does he look like? He looks good. He looks good. He had a very nice face, very handsome face. He was a very attractive man. No, not to me. Uh, I mean, I am married, uh... To a woman. And, uh, even if I wasn't married, I don't mean that kind of attractive. Personally, he was not attractive to me. Describe him to me. Short hair. Short hair. Which which made his head look smaller than it actually is. And I only mention that because I've been told my head is somewhat large. And when I looked over at his, it's like, you know when you look through binoculars the wrong way? It, it, it looks... That's you. Answer it! Hello? Chuck? Just a moment, please. Can you believe this? He wants to talk to the Turk. That's you. That's me? That's you. I'm the Turk. Look at you. This is the Turk. Okay, listen, Turk. When this phone rings, you answer it. You understand? Yes, I answer it. You and you alone. Are we clear? Me and me alone. Right. Great. Now, listen, you put the package in the trash can on the northwest corner of Fulton Woodward in five minutes. Hello? So what'd he say? Something about a package and a trash can. Look, I have nothing to do with this. I'm here for a convention. I don't give a shit. Now, what trash can? Fort and Woodward. package, put it in that trash can, and you can go. I should point out to you, sir, that I am taking a mental picture of you, just in case there's any trouble.
you know what? This this is not for you. Who's it for? Well, it's it's uh, for somebody else. Who? Just someone. Someone you don't know. Try it. No, I'm not trying you. This is not garbage. Okay? This is business. So, just please don't touch it. All right. Give me the bag. Give me the bag. Oh, Jesus. It's not your bag. See what he's doing? Who is this guy? This bag is mine. Damn! It's not his. Okay, okay. Oh, what is the matter with you? Just let me go. Get up. Get up. Huh? Get in the car. I think we should... Get in the car! We should look for another can. What the hell is the matter with you? I ask you to do one thing and you screw it up. Hello? What the hell's the matter with you? I ask you to do one thing and you screw it up. Yes, well, this was not planned well. No, no, listen, Turk. You know what? You just bring the package to First and Bagley and wait there. So what do you say now? Hey! Get back here! Excuse me. Now you pay. Yes, hello, I've been shot. Can you give me a location? Oh, I don't know, downtown. Where downtown, sir? Uh, uh, a man in a black car kidnapped me. Do you have a license plate number? Yes, just give me a second. 347 DNB. Hurry. I just called 911, and you are in serious Get trouble. Up. You shot me. I grazed you. Well, I'm still shooting me. Watch your ass. Ow, 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 ow. You could have killed me back there. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. I wanted to graze you, you're grazed. It was a training bullet. Well, I'm bleeding, although you might call it training blood. Here, use this. Taco sauce? Yes, it's a natural antiseptic. Sprinkle some of that on your ass so you don't get an infection. Yeah, well, I don't even want to know how you discovered that. So what, you keep this in your glove compartment and just... Splash it on a salami sandwich and then splash some on your behind? Use it or don't use it. It's your you ass. You got any guacamole in there? I hear it makes a great cold compress. Just put it back! All right, I'll use it. I'll use it. Don't you have traffic to look at? Oh, shit. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> with him your hands i don't know him he just he he, he kidnapped me he, he took me against my will he look you see he wanted to put taco sauce on my butt the guy the guy is nuts hands run my plates you back in the car your hands you want to see my hands here federal agent Car is federal, sir. ATF. That's right. Federal agent. Federal prisoner. Back in the car. You are interfering with a federal investigation. Move your asses. to him and walk away. Hey, if you try to run this time, I'm gonna put a bullet in part of the ass you really mean.
So you like the much? The merch? The much. Well, you know, there are days that I like it and days that I don't. Um, it depends. I'm on the fence. Do you like the merchandise, Tech? Yes, I do. Like the merchandise? I, uh, thanks for asking. So there's gonna be 20 grand in there, right? In the bag. in touch. And uh, one more thing, sir. No more fruit cake stuff, okay? Sure. Goodbye. Get in the car. Why? I'm not done with you yet. You said I was done. I lied. I do that. Now get up. Get in the car. No. Get up! Don't make me chase you. I'm telling Hey! Stop! Stop! Help me! Hey! Help! You're under arrest. Hands on the car. On the car! Who the hell is this guy? Run that. He's international. Ow! Oh. Watch your head. Okay, that's it. I am writing a letter. Number three. Number three? Three, step forward. Three, that's you. That's him. You sure? I'll never forget that face. All right, thank you. You can go. Excuse me. I'd like to speak to whoever's in charge, please. All right, number three, stay. The rest can go. Thank you. Sometimes you just have to speak up. Are you in charge here? Yes, I am. Oh, boy, have I been waiting to talk to you. Really? My name is Andy Fiddler. I'm in dental supply sales, and believe you me, I never thought I'd be standing here in a police station with a bullet wound in McKeister. Hmm. But I am extremely upset with this man here, and I must confess with your whole operation in general, because quite frankly, I have nothing to do with any of this. Well, that's not what it looks like, Mr. Keister. The weapon you used in the diner? Stolen from ATF's vault. The gun you're robbing the cashier with. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, there's no robbing. I'm not robbing, you see, although I can certainly see how you'd get that impression. Uh, we also got a red notice from Interpol when we ran your name. There's an outstanding warrant for your arrest. What? Huh? Istanbul, Turkey, ring any bells? Oh, oh yes, it does ring some bells, and uh, believe it or not, there is a perfectly reasonable explanation for that, and, and you will find it very funny, because it's, it's quite a story. Hmm. Tell it on the way. Place your left hand here. So I took the family to Europe in the summer of 98, and one of our stops was Istanbul in uh, Turkey, a must-see if you've never been. Anywho, my wife has this uh, you know, thing about... Phone call. Persian rugs. Okay, I'm not a complainer, but that officer was very abusive. I mean, not only was he physically violent, but but more disturbing to me, he, he was just rude. Van. Your daughter wants to know if you're coming to her recital tonight. Oh, uh, you know, I can't. Uh, I'm in the middle of something right now. Um, I gotta go. Did you tell her for me? You need to tell her. So when we got back to the hotel, we discovered the rug is too big for the suitcase. So we decided to leave the rug at the hotel to be sent to us when we got back home. Okay, right. So we finally get home, uh, but we never got the rug. Long story short, we get a letter from the hotel said the rug had been seized at customs. Now evidently, this rug had been stolen. It was a thousand-year-old prayer rug, and, and it was stolen. Well, how was I to know? I didn't know, and I'm the one that's out $230. 
Yeah, it was all very innocent, as I'm sure you can now understand. I see. Lock him up. What? Let's go. What? Let's go. Get him out of here. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This way. I have done nothing wrong. I have... I... 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 I, I, I haven't... I haven't done anything. You... This is the number to this phone. I want you to put a trace on it. I want the owner and an address. Call me when you got it. Okay. Lou, you looking for me? Explain the Wisconsin kid. I set up a buy with the bad guys. He got in the middle of it. Now they think he's me. So you're telling me the guns are still in play? Yeah. How do you know this isn't a setup? With this guy? Yeah, with this guy. Not with this guy. Okay, where is he? He's in holding, and he's gonna stay there. Yes, ma'am. Asian gentleman, big glasses. Oh, yeah. Didn't have the heart to put him in there. Uh -huh. Thank you. Come on. So, am I free to go now? Go? Oh, hell no. They're fixing the shit sandwich upstairs. You're the man in Possession of a stolen weapon, armed robbery, and the Turkish government wants to have a little check with you. Okay, I want to talk to an attorney. I get one phone call and I want to call an attorney. Let me lay your options out for you here. You can come with me as a suspect who's cooperating. Or you can stay here and get married tonight. So what's it going to be? Okay, just so we're clear. I am not choosing to go with you. I'm choosing not to stay with him. Uh-huh. Hang on. This is one screwed up crew. All right, just so there's no confusion, here's the deal. You're in my world now, not yours. And in my world, your responsibilities begin and end with me. And what would those responsibilities be? Well, these guys think you want to buy guns from them. I need you to meet them one more time and set up a buy so I can bust their ass. Okay, I, I am developing a slight phobia about meeting these guys. The whole meeting thing, quite frankly, is getting irritating, I have to be honest. Look, I have done everything you've asked me to do. Why can't I go? What does any of this have to do with me? Because every time these guys meet somebody new, they're on the lookout for the man. And you most certainly do not look like the man. Oh, I don't look like the man. Well, thank you, because that clears up absolutely nothing. Who, who is the man? The Heat, the Pig, the Popo, 5-0, the undercover agent that's going to bust their ass. You're such a white red son of a bitch, these assholes trust you. Well, you know, people do trust me. That's not a compliment, shit stain. Okay, you know what? Why do you swear so much? Do you think it makes you sound tougher when you just swear all the time? Fuck you. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Really classy. You know, I could go around all day saying, F you, F this, and F that, and Fing this, you mother effer. But I don't, because there has to be some civility in the world. Incidentally, there is a trick you can use to curb that habit. Every time you feel like saying the F word, just go ahead and say it, and then add, crying out loud. Fuck crying out loud. Fuck crying out loud. Fuck crying out loud. And before you know it, you're saying, oh, fuck crying out loud. Oh, you Wait. did make her a promise. Well, you always break your promises to her. You want your daughter to grow up like you, not trusting anybody? That's not the point. It's exactly the point. No, it's not. You promised her you'd be at her recital tonight. Something came up. You know, my little girl's a ballerina, too, and she's exactly your age. Really? Yeah. I help her with her pirouettes all the time. That's not what this is about. This is about you not wanting to go because her stepdad's going to be there. Oh. 
Is he dancing tonight, too? And with the right feet positioning, there you go. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Daddy, can Andy come with you tonight? Um, look, honey. Daddy can't come tonight. I'm sorry. But I promise I will be there next time. I swear. I'm gonna make it up to you. Oh, fuck crying out loud. Hold on. Look, Daddy's gotta go, okay? Go ahead. Goodbye. It was very nice meeting you, Kate. You too. So what you got? The owner of that phone? It's Cortez. Who? Manny Cortez. Katie. Thanks. Cortez is the back elevator, second floor. Oh, shit. Don't get up. <laughs> you scared me, man. What are you still doing here, Cortez? You are supposed to meet us at the warehouse over three hours ago. Mind, I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of something here. <laughs> I truly don't care. Hey, look, there's too much heat on those guns, all right? I mean, you killed the cop. That was not in the deal. Yeah, well, he became a problem. Listen, we got the merchandise. You need to pay us for it. I'm out, all right? I cannot do shit with those guns. You know, Cortez, that's your problem. You got the money or not? find another buyer. All right, and you know what? I suggest you get out of town as quickly as possible. Hey, yo, close the door on your way out. Sure. Well, I guess that just leaves the Turk. I guess so. Well, you've got a very nice family. You've just got a wonderful daughter and a lovely wife. Ex-wife. Ex-wife, yes. Well, she seems like a very nice person. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, uh, so it just didn't work out, huh? Well, whatever. Would you like to see my family? No. Well, I would like to see my family. This is my oldest, Hannah. She's 12. I'm trying to get her interested in the dental equipment game, but I guess at that age, you know, it's just, uh, not cool yet. This is my little ballerina right here. And, uh, this is my wife, Susan, holding our newest addition, Emily, just turned two. Already talking a mile a minute, just talk, 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 A regular little chatterbox. I wonder who she got that from. Oh, I think she got it from me. You think? Well, I am, uh, I'm sorry about your situation. What situation would that be? Well, you've got people who love you, and yet you seem like a very sad and lonely man. I'm not lonely. Well, I think you're lonely. I'm not lonely. Fine, you're not lonely. You're alone. Yes, I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. It's two different things. Does the expression, no man is an island, ring any bells? Does the expression, shut your ass up, ring any bells? Everybody in this neighborhood knows my ride. Nobody messes with it. Okay. This is what I like to touch, like the Dutch, another one bites the dust.
under the bed again? Whew. Danny. ATF. Yeah, it's Van. She sent a bag wagon over to Manny Cortez's place. The gun dealer? Yeah, he took the deluxe crews up Shit's Creek. Compliments of a 45 to the chest. Drive's pretty good. Well, you left the keys in the ignition. Not the smartest thing to do for a policeman. This would be a good time for you to be quiet. I know that's nearly impossible for you. But if I hear the sound of your voice right now, I can't be responsible for my actions. So this would be a very good time for you to shut up! I have a small question. What the hell is that supposed to mean? If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Just a little constructive criticism, okay? That's how two people working together whoa, 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 help whoa. each We're not working together, so get that thought out of your mind. Nobody said we were working together. Excuse me. You dragged me into this, and I'm giving a speech at 10 a.m. tomorrow, so the sooner you start treating me like a partner... Hey, we are not partners. Ain't no way in the world that can happen. Well, what am I, then? Hmm? What are you? You are my bitch. That's what. My own personal bitch. I pulled you out of lockup as an SWC, which means suspect who's cooperating, which means I own your ass, which means when I pull the strings, you dance. Till then, you sit there, keep your mouth shut, and don't say a word. Like the puppet you are. Hey, yo, Rudy. Hey, Rudy, what's up, man? Let's go, come on.
told you everything I know, man. I will thieve great your ass through this fence. <laughs> oh, come on, dog. Look, I don't know no more. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Shit, all right. Would you get that phone book over there for me? Who's this guy? Man, I don't know his name. Look, would you get your car out my ass, please? Thank you. Dog. Ow! Now, who are those guys you hooked me up with? I need names. Man, they're going to kill me, dog. They're going to kill my whole family. Names! Ow! Hey, just uh, get names. the name. Get the name. Look, I can't. Just, just uh, let's have a name. Look, I can't. Ow! You know what? Make up a name. Give him something. Look, they're killing me. Yeah. There's no name here. He doesn't have a name. Look, all right, all right. Look, the dude in the picture, his name is uh, Joey Trent, man. Look. Good name. That's a good name. No, no, that's no, a that's, good name. That's a real name. All right, keep talking. Look, I ain't know nothing about no cop getting killed. Yeah, right. Well, who's Joey's boss? I don't know. Some dude from out of town. Oh, you mean out of town name? Look, I don't know his name, man. Right, oh, shit. I'm out of it. Right. I'm out of it. Look, the dude named Kane. The crew boss name is Kane, man. Now, that's all I know. Other than he have a bad rep. Dog, look, I swear on my mom's on that. Who hooked you up with, Joey? Man, Cortez, dog. Ooh, not a good sign. Cortez is dead. Man. Excuse me. Hello? Okay. Well, that was him. You lucked out, Holmes. But we will continue this conversation. Shut up. Oh, and booty. <laughs> Watch your ass. Man, you broke my gold tooth, dog! Uh, Lucky's Bar and Grill in one hour. Is that all he said? No. No, there was something else. What'd he say? Well, you're not gonna like it. What'd he say? You're gonna get mad. Tell me what he said. He wants me to bring money. How much? A lot. How much? Look, I'm just a messenger. How much money? Half a million dollars. What? I know. It was a heart thumper. Shit! Where are we going? My ATM. Yo, Thank God. I need that 20 grand back. I hate what's looked at my books. I need some more. Are you out of your mind? You think there's any way in hell I'm gonna give you another $20,000? I need a half mil. It's just show and tell. I'll have it back in an hour. Go away. Santos, open up. I got something to tell you. What? Open up and I'll tell you. But Look, here's the thing. You give me the half mil, I bust the bad guys and make this right. You don't. You lose the 20 grand and you take a shit bath for coming up short. At least this way you do what I ask, you got a shot. Why are you doing this to me? You trusted me. I'm hungry. You'll live. No, no, no. I, I, I'm really hungry. Come on, man. No, my blood sugar is low, and I'm feeling faint. I haven't eaten all day. I would like some food. OK, I'll get you a burger. I would rather have something else. It's a tasty burger. Red meat quite often doesn't agree with me. I'm gonna make it to my speech tomorrow morning. I don't know, man. That ain't a priority to me. You know what? You're not a very nice person. You don't care about anyone. You don't trust anyone. Trust can get you dead. Trust can get you dead. Well, there's not one person in this world that you trust. Nope. Your mother. Oh, hell no. How can you not trust your mother? She could be playing me. How can a person go through life like that? Hey, at least I'm honest about it. What, you trust everybody you meet? I give everybody the benefit of the doubt, yes. And what happens when they screw you over? Who's gonna screw me over? 
What do you think? People are just waiting to screw people over? Do you think the world is one big screw-over? I couldn't live my life like that. I never met anyone I wasn't friends with eventually. Well, I never met anyone whose ass I didn't kick eventually. Well, you must be very proud. Guns and shooting and kicking ass. You know, problems can be solved without ever touching a gun. Situation. You're walking down the street with your wife. A guy comes up out of nowhere, grabs you from behind, puts a gun to your wife's head. What do you do? Bite him. Bite him? Do you have any idea how powerful the human bite is? The masseter muscles in the jaw can exert 600 pounds of pressure per inch, and I'm not even discussing bacteria. Masseter muscles. It's Latin. It's bullshit. Come on, finish that shit. Let's go. You can afford this, right? You all right? I told you I have a problem with red meat. You got to admit, that was a good burger, though, right? You sure you're all right? Yeah, it doesn't last long. Just a little flatulence. Oh, a little flatulence? An elephant could take a shit in the back seat and it wouldn't smell that bad. Can we just let it go? Let's do this. It's real simple. Show them the cash, get a time and a place, and you're back at the hotel giving your speech tomorrow. Uh, quick question. Uh, you can't just go in there and arrest him because... Why? I want his boss and the guns in the same place at the same time. That's what this dance is all about. Here, let go. Remember, this is strictly flash cash. Show it to him, close the bag, bring it back. Uh, now, what if something goes wrong? Nothing will go wrong. Yeah, but what if it does? Nothing will go wrong. Uh, yeah, but what if it does? What if something goes wrong and the deal doesn't happen? I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life. Nothing will go wrong. Hey, remember, time and a place. A time and a place. Mm. Oh, son of a bitch! Excuse me. Hey, just checking for a while, mate. Okay. You're good. Well, yes. Born lucky. Okay. Yeah. Am I good? Oh, I would think. I would think. Okay. a time and a place, and we have ourselves a deal. And we have ourselves a little problem. What? Nobody. Nobody comes up with half a million dollars in cash in an hour. So you tell me. Who are you? I'm a businessman. Businessman, right. And what, and what kind of business is that, exactly? What business? I provide 
quality precision tools to professionals who demand the very best, period. Now, are we gonna do business? <laughs> Look, Tuck, I need to speak to my boss. Well, why am I talking to you, Joey? How do you know my name? Because I know your name. I, I know names. Let's just say I was born lucky, eh? I'm lucky, huh? And another thing, from now on, I only talk to Kane. Look, Tug, you know, I, I can't just go and tell Kane. He should walk away from a deal he already has in place just because some guy that he doesn't know flashes some cash at me, you understand? Keep the money. I don't care about the money. You think I care about the money? Don't care about it. I can get money. Just consider that a good faith deposit. And you tell Kane there's a lot more where that came from, but only if he stops wasting my time. Oh, one more thing. From now on, I call you. Comprende? Comprende. Excuse me. Where's the money? I gave it to him. I told him I'd call him for the time and a place, and I walked out. You should have seen it. You gave a half million dollars in cash to some gun-running killers? Correct. God damn you! Asshole! Son of a bitch! I've never seen anyone that pissed off before. Okay. God damn it! You said nothing unexpected would happen, and guess what? Something unexpected happened. What's to stop them from taking my money and running? Because they know they'd be giving up a lot more where that came from. Oh. He was about to walk. I had to change the game plan, so I'm I'm now calling the shots. Oh, so you're in charge now? I am indeed. You the man? Yes, I am the man. Well, what are we supposed to do now, man? Well, I think we just let them stew for a while. You know what I mean? And then we call them in, uh, you know, in a couple of hours. And what do we do in the meantime, man? We go to your daughter's recital. Thanks for reminding me about tonight. That's the first time I've heard you say thank you in a long time. I'm sorry. Thank you and I'm sorry? I think your new partner is a good influence. You have no idea. Andy, this is Mark. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Van? Mark? Well, we better go. Come on, Katie. Come on. Come on. Ah! Bye, Daddy. Bye, honey. Can I say something? No. I think you're still in love with her. And if you don't get over this, you may lose the other woman in your life. Just a thought. Well, Barney Bunny should, should be in the uh, bottom uh, dresser drawer, honey, because that, that's his very own bed. Oh. Oh, good, sweetheart. Don't you feel better? Okay, honey. Is mommy there? Hi, Susan. Oh, no, no. Things are fine. Yeah. Nah, convention's going great. Great, great. You know, I'm, uh, I'm the man. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm gonna be home tomorrow night, so I'll, uh, I'll see you then. I love you too, honey. Thanks. 
Why don't we go ahead and do this thing so you can get back to your family? Really? Just do this one thing and you're done. Okay. Question, when you say done, do you mean uh, done as in finished? As in no more, nothing else? Done? Make the call. I have a question. Um, isn't it normal to have, uh, you know, some some kind of backup uh, for a situation like this? I didn't hear you call for any backup. That's right. Oh. Here we go. Just my hands are sweaty. Just be the man. Who's this? Well, I came to meet your associate. Uh, this is my associate. Well, you know what? He looks like a cop. <laughs> he does. He does look like a cop, but he is most definitely not a cop. So let's put that to bed right here and now. Right, so like I said, Tug, who is he? Who is he? He's uh, my bitch. Your bitch? He's my own personal bitch. Hey, bitch, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I pull the strings and uh, he dances. Is that right? You his bitch? Why don't you answer the man? You can talk, bitch. I want to hear you say. Who's my bitch? I am. Uh... I didn't hear that. Did you hear that? No. I couldn't hear anything. We can't hear. Who's my bitch? I'm his bitch. Atta boy. All right. Well, get in, bitch. Why don't you get in the back, bitch? Crotch grabbing time? Yeah, yeah, we'll take care of it. We'll get in. All right. Where's your guy? He's here. Where? You're looking at him, Marcel. I am Kane. Uh, you can still call me Joey. I answer to both. The real question is, who are you? I'm the man with the money. Better yet, I'm the only man with the money. There's just one small problem, money man. What's that? I think you're a cop. Oh. Yeah, I am. Huh. My name is Van. Wade was my partner. I've been tracking what he was doing from the very beginning. Could have busted him, you, your whole gang. But I was waiting for the right time. I want in. It's true. He's ATF. So you knew about the heist, huh? Hell yeah. Think I don't know what my partner's doing? How do I know you're not here to sell the school for your dead partner? Please. Played in the rain, he got wet. So you just wait for your moment and this is it? I can take the heat off you from the inside. And I can move the gun. You know I got the money, because my man here just gave you that half million dollars like it wasn't nothing. You're not the only one with connections, Agent Van. I have a buyer. You had a buyer. Manny Cortez. Unfortunately, somebody put a 45 slug in him. The same kind of bullet they took out of my partner, Wade. Now, some people might call that a coincidence, but I don't believe in coincidences. Do you? Not really. See, I figured you'd take my deal over Manny's because you're greedy. But now I see you're just plain desperate. You're stuck with a truckload of guns and no buyer. So what's it gonna be, Joey? Kane? You've got it all figured out, haven't you, Agent Man? We'll see. Let's go. Enjoy your swim, ladies. Tell me you didn't pee in the pool. Wait a minute, wait a minute.
We're gonna make a deal with this cop? Get him. Get him. Go. Now. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. You can go back to the world of dental supply. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Listen, if you want to show up tomorrow, you know, I can make it happen. No, I'm still in the middle of this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sure. Uh, just a thought. It's been interesting. Yeah, well. Hey, maybe next time I'm in town, I'll look you up. Or not. It doesn't, uh... It's a... Boy, hate these long goodbyes. <laughs> so, uh... Well, see you later. Yeah, you take it easy. of dental supply sales have been on the cutting edge of technology and science for many years, and especially today, be it porcelain veneers, be it dental implants that are fast eliminating the use of dentures and bridges in patients' mouths, be it the use of carbamide peroxide in combination with ultraviolet light that has cut teeth bleaching down to a one-hour one-time visit. Yes, we pledge another year of excellence in the field. And finally, we are here to provide quality precision tools to professionals who demand the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You killed him. You killed him. Yes. Oh. Mr. Fiddler. Yes. Come with us. Where are you taking me? Watch your head. He said I was done. Uh, what is going on? We were hoping you might tell us, Mr. Fiddler. Look, I don't know who you people think I am. We know exactly who you are. What we don't know is how a guy like you could go so wrong so fast. Here you are meeting a gunrunner from overseas named Joey Trent. And here you are doing the 411 with Hector Babcock, AKA Booty, a gun dealer who we just found in the trunk of his own car. You've been running with a rough crowd, but you might be confused about who the real bad guy is. Agent Derek Van, your new best friend. He's the one who put the bullet through Booty's head. He wouldn't do that? No. No. Check out Manuel Cortez. Another gun dealer Van paid a visit to. Last but not least, his own partner. Or ex-partner, I should say. So you have a dead ATF agent, a dead snitch, and a dead gun runner. The only connection, Agent Van. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't believe that. Why not? Because he's such a nice guy? Why do you think he never called for backup? He didn't want cops around. I don't know anything. I, I, That's I don't, bullshit. I don't know That's anything. That's bullshit. You got your neck in it, pal. What do you want from me? You're going to wear a wire and get Van to admit he was in on the heist and he killed his partner. Oh, is that all? You don't have a choice. Really? What if I just say no thank you? Then the U.S. Department of Justice will take a giant shit on you. Very pleasant. Believe me, Mr. Fiddler, your best option is to go along with this SWC. That suspect was... Suspect who's cooperating. I know I've been that. It uh, didn't work out too well. Hi, let me get this straight. You sprung him from holding, gave him half a million dollars, then you let him go? Guy's a salesman from out of town. Oh, really? 
Think it was a coincidence that he showed up at exactly the right place at exactly the right time in the diner? I don't believe in coincidence. For all you know, he could be an undercover IA agent. Did you ever check him for a wire? I didn't have to. The guy was scared shitless half the time. I can't believe that you of all people bought his story, Mr. I don't trust nobody. How'd you get so stupid so fast? Now they got you tied to the heist, your partner's murder, and your snitch. Booty's dead. Remember, this guy's a stone killer. If he senses anything wrong, he'll toe-tag your ass. I just need to get a sound check. You want me to say something? Good, I got it. Good, Good I, got I, got it. It. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, hey, I said I got it. I don't think I can do this. Just do this one thing for us and you're done. Okay, you know what, you guys have got to stop saying that. The guy helped me set up a buy that's gonna go down any time now. What I need from you is an assault unit to back me up. Forget it. I want your badge and your gun. You're on suspension. <laughs> Bullshit. Your badge and your gun now! You serious? I'm trying to protect you. We got a dead agent on our hands, and I can't account for one damn thing you've done for the past 24 hours, except lose a lot of money and make best friends with the IA agent who's gonna bust your ass. And that look does not scare me. I am one inch away. An inch too far, okay? Gun and badge. You're wrong. The guy's at a convention right now giving a speech. Really? Then who's that standing behind you? Guess who? What the hell are you doing here? Knew you were gonna ask. I uh, just finished my speech, and I had a little time before my flight, and thought I would just stop by and see how you're doing, chit-chat. Is there some place we can talk? Yeah. Avenue A, Warehouse 3, right now. Don't forget the money. Why don't we, um, uh, talk in my car? Come on. In the car? We're going to the car. Over. <laughs> Reach air support. Stay above audible range, but don't lose them. Uh, copy that. So, where are we headed? Do you want to get a smoothie? We're going to see our old friends. Oh. Well, I've got a five o'clock flight, so I, I don't know whether I'll have hey. time to... You wanted to chit-chat? Yes, I do. So let's chit-chat. Okay, good. So, how you doing? Good. You wired? Yes. Yes, I am wired. I'm, uh, you know, white knuckle flyer. I, I get pre-flight anxiety, so I get I get very anxious before a flight. I didn't think it showed. So, I guess you got your money. No, I didn't. Did you call for backup? Did I ever call for backup? No. You think I'm dirty? You tell me. I ain't telling you shit, you IA piece of crap. What? Thought you had me played, didn't you? Feeding me all that bullshit this whole time. I've been feeding you bullshit? That's right. Bullshit! Oh, now you wait just one minute, mister. You shot me, you dragged me all over town, you used me to set up your dirty deals. Hey, I've got news for you, homie. I'm not your bitch anymore. Now I want the truth, and I want it now. I think you're involved, and I think you killed Booty. Shit! He just blew it. I killed Booty? I said I think you killed Booty. How the hell did you even know Booty was dead? Exactly. How would I know? I would not know. I wouldn't know. So I could not be more wrong on that point. Do this, gentlemen. Inside. Target is stopped. The deal's going down now. told me to get a confession from you. I know. Shall we? Down! 
Shots fired. Repeat shots fired. Get me an assault team. Get out. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Hey, hey. Just calm down. We are not going to die. Trust me. There were the guns. Where's my money? Let me ask you something. Did he say I was his bitch or his dumb bitch? You think I'm just gonna roll in here with a truckload of cash so you can take it from me and kill me? I look that stupid. Well, just in case you are, I'll speak real slow. If you don't have two and a half million dollars in your car, you're both gonna die right now. I don't think so. You always that. Because we brought company. You son of a bitch. You're under arrest. That's a cue. What's my assault team's ETA? I need them here now. So tell me. Which one of you Spice Girls blew my partner away? That'll be me. So I guess that makes you scary, Spice. Yeah? Yeah. Gentlemen, let's not lose our heads here, because we all have people we want to see again. I have a family, and you have a daughter. I'm sure you have someone. I have no one. Well, let me finish. You have someone not in the traditional sense of having someone. What about you now? I have you. I have got to learn to stop talking. Now back off! Or what? Do I really need to say it? You shoot him, I shoot you. Better yet, this gun can put a hole through both of you. You won't do that. Wanna bet? You won't shoot your friend. Ah, uh, yes he would, and he did, but I hope he won't. Shut up. Nigel, take his gun. You give your gun to Nigel, and get on your knees slowly. Let it go. You're alone, Agent Van. Might appear that way, but my man Masseter's got my back. Who? Mr. Masseter. Latin dude, 600 pounds of power. Nice try. See, now I'm gonna count to three. And if you don't give your gun to Nigel and get on your knees, I'm gonna put a bullet between your eyes. One, two, three! Move in now, go, go, go! Are you hit? Yeah. Where? In my ass. In your ass? Let me take a look. Oh, shit! Get off me! I'll get the taco sauce. All right, get out! Get out. that Agent Van has been cleared by internal affairs now? No, not so fast. I want to see every penny of that money. Heads up. How about now, you bean-counting moron? Look, I appreciate the ride, I really do, but I think I can get on a plane by myself. Yeah, I'm sure you can, but I just want to see it with my own eyes. lunch when you went back to the hotel? I had some lunch. What'd you have for lunch, exactly? I had a sandwich. What kind of sandwich? Steak sandwich. Oh, shit! You rotten ass son of a bitch! Sisters?
right through, please, sir. You're fine. Sir, right through. Yeah. Uh, sir, would you come with me, please? On the mat, please. I'm straight out. Sit, you. Uh. Is there something in your butt, sir? Yeah. A bullet that's permanently lodged in my ass that I received in the line of duty, saving his ass. I can vouch for that. I'm gonna have to ask you to step behind the screen, please, sir. Gonna need to get a cavity search team, please. Oh, hell no! That ain't happening! No, 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 no! Sir, I, you cannot step past this Don't point. Don't worry, I am never going past this point. See what you've done? I can't even leave town now. Sorry. Well, I guess I should get going. You say goodbye to your beautiful little ballerina for me. Tell yours I said hello to. Oh. Well. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, let's not say we did. Okie doke. Told you I never met anyone I wasn't friends with eventually. Bye, Van. Andy. Cavity search team? Yes, sir. Where the hell you guys been? Guys getting away. Great plaid suit, brown bag. Hurry! Sir! Excuse me, sir. Sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, we uh, need to perform a cavity search, please. What? What? Who's my bitch? Uh, just take a few moves. I have done nothing wrong! So I guess I'll command this kernel External broadcast to your receiver Internal thoughts is cold oh, It's a strong eye vision I'll interfere your sight Build blocks on your map and play the pipe Perched on rooftops, I'm the bird man Singing that song of freedom Piss ball tight, Joe phrasing your phrases Fantasia, Mickey Mouse raps What's happening? Rerunning 86 like 86 Gazelles and overweight laces and kicks Traces up fix Pose like statues. Hey, you doing it, girl? God bless your hat shoes. How to shake your tattoos? They gotta do yo. Telling them dames y'all Y'all just fit Down the water that claims y'all I used to do it all So I'm not gonna refuse to view them all In the hands of a player Play on Slayer Get slayed I just want a piece that I can manage Like Mr. Kim K Men paid for what you swallow from out of the glass if I'm from out of the mass East and side of Long Island Wow. My profile ain't to buy drinks, but try drinks placed in front of me by throwing charm your way. But my profile's not to verbally bash you. You ain't trying to come with me, but if you want to have fun with me, with these J hats, I'll promise I'll enterprise. You won't be mad if right after you hop from star to star, letting them all up in your enterprise. <laughs> 